Today I'm going to be doing an experiment with thunder eggs. Do you ever look at what you're doing and just go, wait, how did I get here? <laughs> how did I get from tumbling rocks to barbecuing thunder eggs? Red hot rocks. Okay, ready? All right, let me explain. About nine months ago, Kyle from World of Rock Hands. <laughs> what are you recording? Did an experiment with thunder eggs where he froze them and defrosted them a whole bunch of times to try and see if he could achieve a thunder egg core. Just kind of see if um, the excess matrix would actually separate from the interior agate uh, core. So that's what a thunder egg vertebrae is. Like Kyle said, it's the inside agate core where the matrix, the rhyolite, has come away and it's left with all the ridges that you would see in these pictures. Fast forward to present day, Kyla sent me a package and in that package was the thunder eggs. My first thought when I saw the thunder eggs was, let's get the tile saw out and see what's inside these beauties. Then I saw his video and it gave me an idea. This is my idea and this is my experiment. Have you ever taken a baking tray out of the oven and you go to wash it, you put it under a cold tap and it breaks? My thought was by heating something super hot and then putting it into water or ice water, that might, that might help it break apart and I don't know. What I'm going to use is my barbecue. <laughs> Look, let's just, I'll explain as I go. I'll explain as I go. My thought is if I can use this charcoal briquette heat rubber or thing to fill it with charcoal place the thunder eggs on the inside in the in the core of this thing i've chose thunder eggs that have those definite exposed bits of uh chalcedony there and because i feel like that might be they might have the most potential to come to sort of come apart i'm going to stack them in the middle and surround them with coal now they're under there we'll light these up and on they go Oh gosh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's see how it ends up. Now, I think it's important to mention that I've never tried this before, but also I don't recommend anybody else trying it. Um, just let me do it and maybe learn from my mistakes. Let's see what they are. Oh, that's Fahrenheit, hold on. 472 Celsius. I'm gonna leave them to sit for about 45 minutes so they really take up that heat. What I'm going to do is once that's done, I'll take the rocks out and put them into here. Some ice water, which is, come on, it's got to be colder than that. Well, I'm going to say it's significantly colder <laughs> than in there. I don't know, I'm sciencing. Sciencing and crossing my fingers. Okay, so I've done a little bit of research and I found out that the, the reason why I think this is going to work, the baking tray theory in cold water, is that it's actually called temperature shock, which means, so when, when I take it from the heat, put it into the cold water, the outside is trying to expand super quickly and the inside is trying to hold on. So I don't know, maybe that means that this could work. It might work. Either way, these guys are ready. Let's get them out. Gucci, you need to move away. I'm gonna set this up here so that it's not down there near my little pup. I'm gonna put you on your tether. Come on, Devin, you go here. Yeah, you stay there. Safe away from there. I love you. Oh my gosh, they're red, red hot racks, rocks. Okay, ready? Have a look at this, wow. Can you hear that? I've got earmuffs on, so I can't hear it very well, but uh, let's go over here. Look how red hot that is. Do not try this at home. Do not, do not, do not. Oh, there's a big one. Look, there's cracks in it. Oh, got another rock. Oh gosh. I think I can smell plastic. I'm gonna get this sorted. Another one in. 
left you there. Final one. No, that's. Okay, so <laughs> the rocks are in there. It turns out that holding your phone over an open flame is not a good idea. <sighs> I'm going to let them cool because I don't know how hot the inside of them are. I didn't hear any cracking, but I saw cracks. They've stopped fizzing. <gasps> oh no. Okay, they have done something. They've actually done something. But I don't know if that's from the cooking. Oh, have I just absolutely stuffed these up? Okay, watch to the end before you put any hate comments up. <laughs> I don't even know what color they would have been on the inside. All right, it's all for science. I've got ones left over that I didn't put in there. I've got to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess it's normally better to do that before you start doing something, but. All right, so it's been a week. I've had a haircut. I've also come to terms with what's happened. Um, before we look at how damaged they are or what, what they look like on the inside, I'm gonna use the tile saw to cut open some of the ones that I have left. Hopefully then we can see what the other ones looked like before I destroyed them. So, tarsal, let's do it. <laughs> Okay. Let's have a look at the differences between how they look after they're barbecued to how they would have looked beforehand. Pretty interesting, I think. All right, let's, yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Ooh, I haven't opened this. This has been a week that they've been in there. Transfer them, oh my gosh. They look very, very different. There might be some hope, I doubt it though. Pop these bits across into here. Hmm. Well, I don't think I need any more in there. Let's just close that. Now, for the cooked ones, it's, you can see they, the cracks just went all the way through. There's some uh, crystals in there, up there, but, uh, oh. I didn't exactly create a thunder egg core. Everything's white. Everything is white, apart from those bits, what are they? They must be crystal bits. Yeah, so the actual quartz bits inside didn't really cook. Uh, the chalcedony bit did, it, it cooked terribly, terribly, terribly. It's hard, to, it's hard to watch this, I'm sorry guys. It's so hard to watch this, but we're learning. I don't think I need to break any more of them up. I think I'll... Oh, why not? Yeah, no, let's just leave them. It's heartbreaking, to be honest. Basically, let's have a look. They're your standard... Not standard, they're beautiful, but standard thunder eggs, as in it was chalcedony on the inside. There may be a mixture of, of minerals and stuff. Uh, this one is probably one of the best thunder eggs I've ever opened. Look inside this. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful, beautiful piece. Which is even more heartbreaking because I would have loved to have known what the other ones were like on the inside. <laughs> Just stunning. Now, as heartbreaking as that is to see how great these are on the inside and how terrible those are. I'm pretty stoked that I didn't burn them all. I won't be doing that again, which is cool because you guys get to uh, learn from my mistakes. However, when I was cutting this one, I'll show you, it was crumbling apart. I was starting to go, oh, there mustn't be anything in there. This is going to be terrible. It actually might have shown that what Kyle did in his video with freezing them May have been enough. Look at that. See how it's created that thunder egg core bit? I think there's a lot to be said for trying. Having an idea and following through with it. 
there's a lot to be said for sharing. Sharing ideas and curiosities with each other. Ultimately, that's what we're doing as video creators, is, is sharing our ideas. I want to thank Kyle, not just for sharing these amazing, beautiful stones you're seeing here, but also for sharing his idea, sparking my curiosity. This is true holly blue. Wow. It's pretty rare stuff. He's polished this for me. Look at that polish. This is why if you guys want to see some good lapidary videos and how-tos, check out World of Rock Hounds. Kyle will, uh, heal. <laughs> what a beautiful stone. I genuinely am so grateful, Kyle. Thank you, dude. So yeah, I might not have had a win this video, but I tried something and I had a great time doing it. And I think I learned a little bit along the way and who knows who it might inspire to do what next. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Here's a video of thunder egg hunting that we did a couple weeks back. Hope you enjoy it.